Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a, a walkthrough of a, a new boat that we're using to go out on Lake Erie. In previous years, you've seen us use a 2004 17 foot Monarch with a 90 horsepower on it, but this year we had a 2023 19 foot Targa with a 225 horse motor on the back. So let's check it out. So to start off, it has these steps to get up on. So and the first thing you realize when you see this thing is how wide and big it actually is. It comes stock with four seats and actually seven slots for the seats. This model actually came with the bimini top, gunnel, trolling rods. Other gunnel, trolling rods. Lift up the bimini top and this one, we've made shift this one into a cooler. Uh, it's got a drain plug in the bottom of it, but this one's going to be our cooler. This one right here, actual live well with the minnow bucket. This side, battery compartment. This right here is actually a breaker uh, to turn power off and on to the fuse box that's in the front. And we'll go over that in a bit. We're using this compartment for walleye baits, perch gear, and other trolling equipment. You got two cup holders here with another like makeshift seat area, which is pretty cool. I'll lift this up. This is where some of our safety equipment is. Paddle storage. Open up this side gunnel. More of our safety equipment. Everything is located in one area so we know exactly where it's at. We got some more cup holders here and four storage containers. Down here in the center storage, we have trolling equipment sitting down in here, rod holders. And underneath this is two batteries. Come to the center one, we got perch poles and bass poles. Mess it up in here. Right in here, we have bags, drift bags, and cooler storage. small one right here. This is my snack compartment. Driver's side small storage. We don't have anything listed in here, uh, but there's another storage area along with this front section right here. We took our bumper bags and we were able to find this little area that wedges it back into here. They're not going to go anywhere and we can slide the anchor right in front of it too when we're transporting. In this compartment, we got our life jackets, safety vest, then down here underneath the driver's seat, there's a fuse box in here and along with a junction box. Uh, I do not like this location because it's hard to get in there. Uh, it's actually tucked up underneath. Uh, it, it, like I said, it's hard to get in there and, and make any adjustments. So that's the sock stuff that came with, with this boat. Uh, it actually came with a low rance over here. Uh, we took that out. We put on a Garmin that he had on the, on the previous boat. Uh, so we had to tear apart the, the gunnel, put on the new transducer. Uh, put in the Garmin, we put in a radio right here uh, along with the big antenna and we took off the original trolling motor that came with it. It was a Minn Kota but uh, he liked his iPilot so we got the iPilot on here linked up with the Tarova. So that's some adjustments that we made as we changed out the trolling motor, we changed out the, the transducer and the fish finder and we put in the radio. One of the big perks of this boat is it doesn't have fixed fishing rod holders. What I mean by that is it's on a track system. The track system allows you to loosen this up, slide it back and forth, and that's where we put those rod holders in so we can put it anywhere on the boat that we want to. And it has it on both sides. Now coming off the back here, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to. We used to have a three cylinder 90 horse Mercury. I say this from 2004. I think the motor might have even been a little bit older. But now we're rocking with the V8 225. So it's going to be a little bit different for us. We're going to do a break-in period later on in this video. I can't wait to hear this thing hum. But what I also like about this boat is I have four kids, a wife, and one on the way. And it has the step-down ladder in the back. So we can actually put on, we can use this boat for tubing with all the seating. Uh, the smaller kids can all sit on here. And with the big motor, we can still go out and have recreational fun as well as fishing fun up on the big lake and not have to worry about uh, you know the water and the water conditions in those situations. 
So now it's time to head to the lake. So we gotta go down this long channel, so this is the perfect time to break out the operations book. If you actually click, if you actually go to the operations, ours is page 70, it's the engine braking procedure. For the first two hours of operation, run the engine at varied throttle setting up to 4,500 RPM or at three quarter throttle and at full throttle for approximately one minute or every 10 minutes. We went out and looked at the lake before we got here and it's probably running two, three, and four footers in some spots. So. It's gonna be very interesting for the next two hours. We ran for about 20 minutes earlier and it got pretty rocky, so we decided to troll a little bit. And it's like glass now. 